had five pupils. Hey everyone, it's Jason, and welcome to another episode of Martial Arts Theater 3000. Today is a very special episode because it's the start of a series I've been excited to do for a while, and that's going to be ranking every Venom Mob, or Venom's film, however you like to say it, from worst to best. Now, it feels weird to say worst because I love the Venom so much. They're my favorite outside of, you know, Bruce Lee, as you can tell from my channel. But the Venoms movies are so good that even at the very, very worst, I you know, they're better than a lot of the other independent films from the time, and it just, they stand above. So it's like ranking your favorite band's albums, if you will, and saying one of them's the worst, it's relatively speaking. So we're going to start today at 21, and then it's going to go all the way to number one, and then at the end I'm going to combine them all in a big video, and then I'll release that as well. So without any further ado, coming in at number 21, we have Brave Archer and His Mate. Now this is a 1982 film, and if you know the Brave Archer series, it started out as a Fu Shang-led movie, and it had Venoms in the background slowly working their way in as the films went along. By the time it got to part two, and Chang Che was making a lot more Venom mob movies, they weren't, you know, bit players in other movies like The Chinatown Kid. So, as it went along, and the Venoms became like Chang Che's second team, they call it, the first team being T Lung and David Chang, and, you know, the Iron Triangle with uh, Chen Quan Tai as well. So, as you got to part three of the Brave Archer films, it was like a bona fide Venom mob movie. And that's why when we get to Brave Archer and his mate, it gets a little confusing, and I'd have to say disappointing. Now, the first three movies are based on Legend of the Condor Heroes. It goes along with Fu Shang in the starring role and Guac Choi. They all have their set roles in these films, Lo Mang. But when it gets to Brave Archer and his mate, I don't know why they did this. Now, it might be because it's based on a different book, Return of the Condor Heroes. But even if it's on a different book under the same series, I don't know why they switched Fu Shang to a different role. And then Guac Choi took Fu Shang's role. So it's just a strange move that I think really hurt the film out the gate. And then there's another thing I'd like to mention. The 1980s Chang Che movies, I've noticed in Shaw Brothers films in general, they became a little more boxed in. The early 70s Chang Che movies had some sweeping epic shots, outdoor shots. I mean, go watch the heroic ones with David Chang. It's an epic. But then, I don't know if the budgets were getting tighter, but it really went indoors. I mean, Shaw Brothers are known for their indoor sets, and I love that. And, but it just it's a nice switch up when they go outside, like in Kid with the Golden Arm. But once it got to the 80s, a lot of the Venoms films, I can't remember when they went back outside. Maybe the sword stain with royal blood comes to mind. So, it all being indoors in really closed quarters, it feels kind of, I have to say, soap opera-ish. And they're all in, you know, it's, they're interesting costumes and everything, but it's just a lot of talking, very little action. There's a fight scene in the beginning, but then it's like an hour straight with like no fighting and just a lot of dialogue, a lot of dead ends where it introduces characters, then you never hear about it again. And like I said about the Venoms being in the Brave Archer films, the ending is the saving grace here because it's an amazing fight per the norm for the Venom mob films. But there's so many characters introduced very late that you just, it's just your head's kind of spinning and you're just wondering what the point of it all is. And it just falls flat. It's definitely the worst Venom Mob movie. My friend Flip, who has the Flip Otaku channel and does the Talking Swords podcast with Sean from Foo for Thought, Flip said this is the worst Shaw Brothers movie ever. And he's watched them all. So breaking it down, when it comes to the plot and the acting, I'd give it a 5 out of 10. When it comes to the action and the fight scenes, I'd give it a 7.5 out of 10. It's great at the end, but it's very little fighting along the way. 
It's worth seeing this one just to see how they wrap up the Brave Archer series. But for a Venom Mom movie, I put this at the bottom at number 21. So stay tuned to the next episode. We're going to take a look at number 20 on my list. Thanks, guys, for the support. And if you like my videos and would like to subscribe, that would definitely help the channel. And if you can hit that like button, it helps as well for the algorithm. And I look forward to keep going with this Venom Mob series. And this was number 21 with Brave Archer and his mate. 